Making spring chicken saute, and I want it. Spring chicken, here to help, we welcome back the creator of my everyday table, Emily Dingman, to show us how to do it. Oh, you've got all the spring things oh, going yeah. on. Oh, really good we to do. see you. Thank you. This is great. So this is really easy for Simple. a Monday. This is great for Monday because it's ready in 20 minutes. Good. And it's full of veggies. After the weekend, my body is always like, feed me. Oh, Monday, <laughs> I feel so motivated. Pizza, ribs, Chinese food in a 24-hour yeah. period wow. this weekend. Do you know that that happened? I yeah. ate a whole medium pizza while at the movies. No. <laughs> Before, wow. like, we were 30 minutes in. Oh, whole wow. thing. So you need... I need this. That's for <laughs> dinner. Yes, I need it. We need this. This is for dinner. Okay, so what kind of chicken are you starting so out with? So we're just doing the chicken. We're keeping it really simple with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. Um, I like to actually get a chicken breast that's split in half lengthwise, yes. which you can buy, or you can just do it yourself. Yeah. Just because then it takes three, four minutes to cook per I know, side. When you get those giant chicken breasts, the... The it's thick hard. side is so fat, and then the little other yeah. side dries out. Yeah, so yes. I like these. They're just quick, easy. Good. Um, and then, or you could also grill it, too, outside mm -hmm. if sure. you have a grill. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do the veggies. Okay. So we've got a lot of spring produce. We've got some fresh asparagus. What do you want in first? You can put um, the leeks in first. The leeks Let's in first. The leeks in. Oh, good. And leeks are like a really delicate onion, really adds nice flavor. Yeah, but and then, like good for kids, too. Yeah. I think they won't They're not be too over, overpowering yes. or too harsh. Mm. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then we'll do the asparagus, the asparagus. Okay. Okay. and that's in season right now, so that's, it's a good time to eat it. That's the spring veg. And then um, the peas. So Who's the peas last? you can do fresh. I always do frozen just because it's an easy shortcut that I like to take. But I always have frozen peas. You can use either. Steve doesn't love peas, so we'll see what no, happens No, I'm not a big fan of peas. I think the peas should be um, asked to leave. <laughs> I bet you could do, um, I think that's you a, can, you're in the minority because everybody I loves peas. I know I am. You, but you could probably do edamame. Yeah, or you could leave it out. It's, you know. Um, and then you're just going to cook this for about five minutes. We want them tender but have a little crisp yet and not mushy because... This is just so funny. It's like all green. It's just monochromatic. Yeah, it looks like a really nice pan. And then the leeks, the moment that you put them in the pan, the flavor opens. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. Okay, but you got this yogurt okay, business Okay, so then this on. is the fun part of okay. this dish. And I think it really elevates it to make it a meal that you could serve to other people. So we're going to make a really quick yogurt sauce, which is just Greek yogurt and some plain olive oil. Greek plain yogurt? Greek yogurt. Okay. Okay. And then we have herbs de Provence. Ooh. Where do you have to go? You, you have, have to go to Provence <laughs> and then yes. you pick the herbs. Like yes. Herbs. Mm -hmm. um, but and you then don't have herbs de Provence. You could use Italian seasoning, too. Okay. That's like a real easy, though, if you're in the spice section. Yeah. They always have herbs It's de nice. Because it has a bunch of different herbs in it, and it's a really nice flavor. Smell it. Yeah, you'll see. And that smells great. Yeah. And then mm. um, the fancy part, if you want to do a little fancy plating, we do. Which, why not? We both have fancy plates. You're going on. to just put a little dollop of the sauce on. Okay, perfect. Like that? Yep, and then use the back of the back spoon to just swoosh, swoosh it. Come on. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Dude. Let's see which one. Emily, I really <laughs> failed there. Gosh. Okay, come on. What do you got? Mm. Oh, ow. Okay. Okay, I mean. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that looks Maybe worse. less is more sometimes, but mm. it's, it's a so good So what effort. if you just like put a dollop in the middle? Is that okay? okay? Absolutely. <laughs> or you can serve Great. it on the side. Actually, for kids, I would serve it on the side, and then they can dip the chicken into the, the sauce. And this is what it ends up looking like. Yes. Which it just looks so So then, beautiful. yeah, put the chicken and then so top healthy. it with all the green veggies, yes. which is really pretty. Oh, I like this so fresh. much. I want a bite of the asparagus. And mm. so it's sort of like a play on like a tzatziki sauce. It is, That's yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that Ooh, is what warm. my body needs. My body needs that. I mean that. Told you. Yeah. My, my body is saying to the Chinese food, that was the last straw. <laughs> yeah, that was it. We need to turn this ship. Uh, this oh, is gosh. so simple. And I really like that. Yeah. So good. That's fabulous. Thank That's you. really good. Thank you very much. Thank as you. Always. Emily is the creator of My Everyday Table, which is full of recipes and meal plans. Plus, it's great for busy parents on the go. That's all of us. We posted these details, plus a link to these tw uh, tasty recipes on TwinCitiesLive.com. Okay, and big thanks to the Nordicware Factory Store for presenting our Monday Night Meal Series. Their fabulous location in St. Louis Park has new products in stock. So if you're a fan of those cute mug cakes, you have to look at their new microwavable mini bunt sets and then look at those classic wow. bunt pans. They have new colors Beautiful. and products that you can also use in the microwave, like the new 3-in-1 colander, steamer, and bowl set. All right, coming up next...